Yo guys, it's Aptrix here. Today, I have the greatest news probably of July 2025. WinLater Android, one of the best Windows emulators for Android devices, is finally back with a brand new update, the WinLater 10.1. Now, this update has lot of changes, brand new features, and in today's video, I'll be setting it up. We'll be checking out its best settings, gameplay, and much more. Make sure to leave a comment thanking Bruno Dev, the main developer of WinLater, for continuing the project which he had stopped working on because of controversies, but now it's finally back. I am very happy hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's jump right into our today's video to start off win later 10.1 update was released on its official github where previously there was a post made by the main developer of win later saying the emulator's work has been paused but about a month ago the main developer resumed his work on win later android once again and now 13 hours ago the win later 10.1 was released now you guys will be able to read some of the change logs such as added support for external midi controllers midi input output has been added added new control type in input control profile added option to move mouse when pressing the button added a virtual cd rom drive some old games need this added active windows side menu added picture in picture to side menu improved x server updated box 64 0.3.6 updated mesa turnip to its latest 25.1.0 converted some parts of the app to native code for better performance along with that we have the vortex graphics driver changes as well for better performance as you guys can see improved performance overall this update of win later android is an complete improvement in terms of compatibility performance and even new features so let's tap on the allow button and start setting up this emulator right away we'll also be testing out god of war pc version in today's video so make sure to watch the video till the end so here in winlater we'll go to settings and here we have the midi input output device section we can set it to auto afterwards you have the preferred input api section where you can choose direct input or x input as usual if we just go ahead and scroll down we have the box 64 preset the latest box 64 0.3.6 has been added and in terms of preset we'll select performance duplicate it as usual afterwards simply tap on edit set the safe flex level to zero and tap on ok once that has been done simply tap on the enter button and in this new update of win later android the keyboard mouse controls have been fixed made better and less buggy overall so if you are using an external keyboard or mouse it will be a much better experience in terms of screen size we'll go with 854 by 480 as usual in terms of graphics driver we get virgil turnip as well as vortex universal graphics driver we'll go with vortex the vulcan version is 1.3 and everything else will keep it as default now the vortex universal graphics driver even supports mali gpu android devices not all mali gpu but most of the mali gpu inside the win later 10.1 so that is really amazing in terms of dxvk we get only 1.10.3 3 and 2.4.1 we'll go with the default but if you want to then you can also import other dxvk wrappers for example all these versions depending on the game that you try to play let's tap on ok audio driver set it to pulse audio enable show fps and that's about it in these kind of settings as usual we'll set the performance one preset windows version we'll set it to windows 10 because god of war needs windows 10 i'll go to drive and import the folder where i store my pc games afterwards tap on tick mark and our container will be successfully created afterwards let's tap on the play button and here we go win later official is finally back has booted up successfully let's toggle full screen and immediately you will be able to see the x drive or the cd drive which has been added for running old games right here regardless let's swipe back once again and now you can see active windows so if you have multiple windows open for example a game opened in a window and then if you want to go back to your original window you can select it and yeah you'll be back to the home screen of your pc this is a very useful feature if you are testing out games we also have picture in picture mode which will make sure that your win later will be working in a small tab and you can zoom in and go back to your emulator while multitasking we are here to test out some games and what better way than to start off by testing out god for 2018 PC game on our Android device. I have never tried out this game on my Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. We have a brand new on-screen touch control known as FPS as you guys can see but unfortunately win later has post up once again. I'll go to settings, I'll go to edit and here we'll go to DX wrapper and choose the 1.10.3. Let's see if that fixes it. So I have reopened God of War and surely enough as you guys can see our game is successfully booting as we have an FPS bar at the top left corner. As you guys can see our game has successfully booted. We'll go to input controls, we'll go to settings. Tap on import profile, tap on the second option and now we'll add the GTA 5 on screen touch controls. So after you add this profile, it will be much simpler to play this game on our Android device. So here we go, let's just go ahead and tap on the enter button and there we go. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents the original God of War 4 
PC game which we'll be playing in our today's video. Many of you guys were tired of me constantly testing out GTA 5. Well, GTA 5 is the best benchmark game in my opinion. But regardless, God of War used to have a lot of graphical issues along with that very poor performance uh, even on Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. So this is my first time trying out God of War on my Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. So here we'll just swipe back and toggle full screen and you guys can see there are a lot of graphical issues and the performance has indeed improved. You guys can see this is the highest amount of fps that i have ever seen god of war running on inside win later android regardless let's cut down this tree and see if the game crashes or if it works so the beginning part where you saw the game crashing it was only because of the dx wrapper that was selected by default the 2.4.1 so make sure to change it to 1.10.3 if you are facing crashing issues or even 2.3.1 dxvk let's try to see if the audio output is working so I have increased the audio to the max and if you might be able to hear then yeah surely enough the audio output is also working and finally now we'll be able to control creators in just a moment. So here after a lot of stuttering issues our game has successfully started and we are playing this game at 20 fps on our mobile device that is definitely a very respectable performance do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the return of win later android i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye.